The role of the agent in theater and films is a vital one in the pursuit of the correct and career-enhancing moves for a client. The agent must decide why, how, and when they do a play, and how about the world of motion pictures in the background. The many moves required to assure an actor that the property chosen is the right one and the terms set on a contract are commensurate with the actor's worth. Well, today, we're most pleased to have with us one of the most prolific agents in theater and films, Susan Smith. In today's business of Goliath agencies, the boutique agent with a very personal relationship with their clients is becoming the dinosaur of the entertainment world. Fortunately, Susan Smith is one of the few artists' representatives still practicing the craft of agenting with a special understanding of and the difference between what it takes to make a career as opposed to what it takes to just make a buck. When you, as an artist representative, uh, have a play, a theater piece presented to you, mm -hmm. how do you feel about it? Because now, of course, a great deal of actors are concerned with doing motion pictures because of the money involvement. Mm -hmm. And uh, the time restrictions on plays uh, can be very limiting. How do you address that? How do you evaluate, well, shouldn't he or she do a play, or shouldn't they do a play, et cetera? Well, well first I read the play, if, I, if it's a play that I don't already know. And then secondly, I, and probably even before that, I evaluate the client so that every client has a different need. Lynn Redgrave adores being on a stage. So as I read something, I'm very clear that that is where she actually prefers to work. Kathy Bates feels she's done the theater. She doesn't want to do theater anymore, particularly. Brian Dennehy has had a whole rebirth in his career the because of the of theater. Sales. So because of that, each person you look at it differently for. But it still is always about what the material is, whether it's a film or a play. The difference, first of all, I think is totally the silliest answer. It's geographical. If you live in England, there's basically one center of the business. It's called London. You can be an actor, you can do a telly in the day, you can do a film in the day, you can do a play at night, and it's fine. That is not what this country is. We have two coasts, and they're very divided. The theater is primarily under the aegis of New York and the East Coast. And the West Coast, as many actors as there are out here, 122,000 members of Screen Actors Guild, they are primarily here to be in film and television. Otherwise, if they were real actors, in my opinion, they'd stay in New York.